this is Tech Oz again, um, coming back to you for the second month of issues five through eight. Um, this is part of the cockpit. I was telling you about my first video that I want to kind of fix this hole here. Well, I got it all piped in. Now it's going to be rounded right here instead of you know, all the way through. It's going to have a crack right here. I've got to sand this down. And um, let's uh, get started with that. Okay. Find the right sandpaper here. Okay, kind of a little bit grainy, not too hard. And I just fold it, shape it, and sand. One done. Two looks pretty good. Pretty good. Now on the second one here, I'm gonna fine sand that, but it needs this a little bit more putty. It's still got a little indention on it. I want to try to fill that in. And uh, we'll continue when I get back. Now, the type of putty I'm be using to fill that rest of that little gap up right here, I'm gonna be using well, what I have is contour putty, just regular standard. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> contour putty. And anyways, just using that to fill in the gaps. Um, not too difficult, just apply a little bit, apply to your finger. I don't have a scraper, so I'm going to use what you can use. I just fill it in. And let it dry. Fill it in, let it dry. Make sure you get all the air out of it as much as you can. I want no air in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I usually let it dry for a whole day so you get pretty solid. And um, that's it for that part. Um, we'll continue more. But um, we're going to get to, we're going to do some more of the um, main hold, because I got that in issue two, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, we are back, and now I was going to talk to you and show you some of the hull plating um, on the Millennium Falcon. Well, first off, um, they send you this. Um plating in issue five or six one or two anyways this is a uh, in month two you'll get this and I mean if you look at it um, it's okay I mean but there is no uh, grading here it's a solid floor for your main cargo hold with the two access panels um, on this, um, on the original one, there's grating here, and this is all solid, that's solid, and you have two access panels. Well, um, in the movie, it looks a lot more better, so I decided to change mine out, and I went with a company that you probably already heard of, uh, Shapeways. And anyways, enough of this one. This one already painted, but if you look at it, yeah, see, you got the you got the grates here. It's graded. It's solid here, and you got two access panels that actually come out. 
I mean, I mean that is really, really cool. And you can see through them. I mean, which is really cool. I mean, I like that. No doubt. Uh, this is from Shapeways. Um, I heard about them and they make three-dimensional images. And they actually um, did the flooring. So I purchased it and painted it. It's already been done. And now I'm going to be doing some lighting underneath it which this is what this wire is here hanging down. I'm going to show you in just a second here so you can get an idea of what I'm going to make this illuminated underneath so many so many inches because I don't know how the hole's going to sit underneath. So I'm going to use metal to reflect the light and I'll probably have less than, I don't know, I mean less than a quarter of an inch of space. So Without further ado, I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to take my wires there. And get my battery, just regular 9 volt. And hook them up real quick, just to twist. And this, like I said, this is only, uh, this is only a rough draft. It's not the final product, so bear with me. Okay, I'll wire it up. Come on. Wires are so small. They're hard to hold on to. Okay. I believe that's con no, not connected yet. No. Come on, done. Okay. Hopefully that now is connected. Okay, if you see, there is some light down there. If I, I want to reflect, so I did them upside down. If I flip it over, the light will be facing you. And there's two sets of LEDs here. And that's the way I got it wired. I wired it away from the panel. So when you put, let's say this bowl is metal, reflective underneath it, you'll see what it does. Look at that, how cool is that? And once I put metal down there, that's what you're gonna see, it's gonna reflect like that. So in the movies, you'll you'll see that in the pictures, it's the same way. It will reflect light. So that's the part of one of the panel that I have done and um, the next thing I've done and ordered from Shapeways, um, well, this is the one you get from the Diostini model, the console, the nav console. Well, again, it looks pretty small for the size that it is. So I was like, I don't know if I like that, you know, so. I want to again make this pretty accurate so I went to Shapeways again and ordered a piece which is this one right here I've already been working on. I'll show you in here. Your nav console from Shapeways. I mean if you look at the size comparison uh, here that is so as comparison this one is smaller but this one's a lot more larger and if you look at it I already ran fiber optics through it it's going through the back and to the front of the console so this one is a lot more detailed my camera's pretty bad I don't know if you can see that or not but it has a lot more detail than the rest of them do. So I kind of like this one. I thought it was kind of cool. So let me see if I can get that more light there. Yep. And I already painted the back 
because uh, when you get this, it's kind of transparent. So I painted the back already. Then I'm going to do more of the front and put it in. So let's hook this up so you can see what the fibers in this are going to look like. Yeah, like I said, apologize for the kind of the terrible camera angles, but it is what it is. Is hook this up here. And there you have it. If I could turn this around to show you, that's the nav console. Now, with this being done, I'm going to put this onto here with the lighted floor. And then I'll put a couple more LEDs over here on this side wall. And there's like a light that goes on here that I wanted to. Here, take this away here. I wanted to do is actually on this thing right here. This little light. And it sits right here on your panel with your seat cushion like so. Like that. And yes, your degeneric table sits right here. Um, anyways, with the nav console that you get from Shapeways, um, let me show you the LEDs again. They keep on fighting me, but you just gotta work on them. There you go. Those. Um, not only you get the nav console, but you also get this very cool, very small um, helmet. And I can't really show you if it won't focus. This helmet is the helmet in New Hope when Luke Skywalker was training with Obi-Wan on the Millennium Falcon. He had to put this helmet on with a shield on it. So he couldn't see, and Obi-Wan was telling him, you don't need to see. Trust your instincts. Anyways, this helmet is so small, <laughs> I'm going to have trouble painting this one, but it'll happen soon enough. Um, let's see. I haven't pretty much done that. Um, like I said, this is still drying, so bear with me on that one. And... That's pretty much it for right now. That's what pretty much do it for this video. There's nothing more I can really do. Um, pretty much limited. Um, the wiring stuff. Oh, here, this too. If you look in the movie, the chair does not go all the way around. The backrest does not go all the way around. It actually goes halfway and stops. And only your seat cushion is what stick, protrudes out in the pictures. So I did that pretty much the way you'd see it in the movie. So the cushion stops right here. The rest is just a chair, uh, sofa seats that's sticking out with no backing. And if you look at the pictures, you'll agree. So you don't want to take the backing all the way out to here. I mean, if you want to have it accurate, it's up to you. I like to keep it, try to keep it accurate. Anyways, um, this is Tech Oz, and that will do it for this uh, time in video, and I'll talk to you guys later.